Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, so as you can see in the little description box below, I am starting a new series. It is called Unshakable. Kind of goes along with my necklace and I'll get more into like the meaning in a little bit, but I've been I've been up since five o'clock. I had work at 6.30 until about 12.31, home, got a Nas energy drink in, in the car. I'm gonna show you that. Do some errands and then we're gonna just get to the gym. We're gonna get into this workout. This, this is the NO that I'm drinking. It's sugar-free, there are no carbs in it, no calories. It is supposed to be high performance energy and enhanced mental focus. So it's like a pre-workout drink. There is taurine, caffeine, vitamin B, vitamin B6. I like the taste of it. It's like, it tastes like, you guys have ever had guava juice? Kind of tastes like a mango guava juice with like a little bit of carbonation. It's been open in the fridge that like hasn't had as much, but... It's actually really good. I'm like really digging this. And then I've also had, just so you guys know what I've ate, I've had two servings of chicken and then 20 of my almonds. So I'm done with my fat. I still have like three more meals to eat and then I still have my 25 grams of carbs and my hour of cardio to do. To let you guys know what I've ate because I've been off camera because I have been at work. And I don't record at work because it's weird. And here we go. And you can do this all night. up gas um, I'm gonna go do my lift and cardio right now but I wanted to try this Rockstar watermelon flavor it is two servings one carb so it's like two carbs for the whole thing um, one of my co-workers said that these are really good and I really don't like Rockstars but I said I'd give it a chance and then I also picked up some Trident gum this is one carb per packet it's the spearmint so I'm gonna go chew on this because I didn't eat before I went and did my errands. So I'm going to chew on this, drink that, take my RG pump, and then I think after this I'm going to, like later on today or tomorrow, I'm going to show you guys like the best things to get at the gas station when you're on the go and you want like a healthier alternative. And like also what not to get that you think would probably be healthy. So I think that's a cool idea. So, here we go. So two of the RG pumps, one of my favorite non-stimulant pre-workouts, but I feel like I need like a little bit of caffeine. So first time like I said trying this, good stuff, two pills, not bad, not too bad. Usually I don't like the, I don't like the normal rock stars, so that's what my mom used to always like have whenever we would go to school together and like she would drive me good old days she would always have those rock stars and i was like eh, gross so i turned to monsters and i really like those this one doesn't taste like a normal rock star though so i'm digging it i'm gonna listen to some jams get in the mindset and then let this like kick in for a couple of minutes and then go i think i'm gonna be doing a back workout i think I think back sounds good. I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Doing it for you guys and for me. Doing this for us. It's a mutual relationship.
literally no idea why my skin is like red. So freaking red. Like, I don't know. She was like, this arm. Oh, it's like it's like super hot to the touch. So I don't know if it's like a different ingredient that I'm just not used to, or if it's or something, but like, has this ever happened to you guys? Let me know. So I did an incline of 15, speed of 4, and after an hour, it says I burned 848.7 calories. So I would love to think that I actually burned like 850 calories, but I do hold on whenever I do the treadmill just because the speed of in like the speed of 4, incline 15. It's really difficult just to do for an hour straight with like no assistance but it's good just to kind of gauge like you know how much you burn give or take um hour went by decently quick i watched some makeup tutorials and some other youtube fitness folks so that got me through my cardio but wasn't that like reaction super weird like what the hell monster doesn't do that to me what's up rockstar but it's 422 and then I head to the bank and then head home and get a meal in and do some homework yeah I worked 30 hours this week and I managed to get to the gym do my cardio stay on track go to school four days a week so yeah get your shit done guys you feel really good at the end of the week when you get like when you like I dominated that week I'm like I did all that shit like wow I impress myself sometimes but yeah let's go did a little bit of cleaning, um, put some sweet potatoes in the oven, so those are going on right now, uh, and then I have this turkey, or what am I saying, and now I have this chicken with reduced sugar ketchup, some mustard, and it's almost, it's like 20 till 6, and then I'm going to run to the bank, and yeah, I feel super productive, and it's going to be a good night. Haven't had my carbs yet, so I'm saving those for a little bit later. I'm not doing some errands right now. Um, what I really quickly wanted to say was whenever I was doing the um, machine like lap pull downs, I really don't like that type of machine where it's a assistant machine where like it moves whenever you do the movement. Like I don't, I don't like that and I feel like it just takes away from doing the action itself. I don't prefer it um, but it was the only one that was available at the time so I did it. But I just don't like it because I want to be able to do the movement like completely by myself and not have a machine like move with me. I just feel like it just takes away from some of the workout. So, I am now back at the bank and gonna do this and then head back home. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because I just don't like that. It feels like I'm on a roller coaster and I'm at the gym. So I don't, I don't really, um, I'm not really about that. Just like anything that assists you in the gym is taking away from your body doing the motion 100% on its own, obviously. I'll see you guys back at the house. I am home. I prepared four ounces of sweet potatoes with some syrup and stevia. Going to relax a little bit, homework, and then head off to bed. And I have an early morning tomorrow. Okay guys, so 
Right now I'm going to be recording the gas station hits and misses, the things that I do grab whenever I'm on like my legit diet right now, and the things that I grab whenever I am like just trying to eat healthy. And also the things that you would think would be healthy but aren't, so stay tuned for it. So the Power Crunch bars, favorite. They're somewhat high in fat, 13 grams and then 10 grams in carbs, but my favorite are the vanilla. <clears throat> Cliff bars you think would be good. Fat is low, which is seven. Carbs are 42 and then sugar is 20. I also always pick up gum. Any of the beef jerkies are good. 1.5 fat, 7 grams of carbs, sugar is a little high. And then, of course, monsters. So any of the nuts are really good to get. This, isn't it so funny how like you think that some of the protein bars are actually going to be good for you, but they're just like packed with sugar, so be careful of that. Any of the sugar-free drinks are good, like as far as calorie-wise, like the stuff in them is like not the best, but they're good alternatives instead of drinking all your calories and sugar and all your carbs, like, um, and then yeah, this one didn't have a ton of stuff. I'm at the Mobile. My favorite ones are 7-Eleven, AM, PM, and the Extra Mile. Those have a lot more options but I'll probably do another one of these, like a bigger one, hopefully. But I mean, obviously there's still like not a ton of stuff that you can have at the gas station, but this was some of the stuff. And before I head home, I just wanted to explain why this series is gonna be called Unshakable. So obviously my necklace from Bad Bad says Unshakable. And to me, what it means is, I know I was going through like a really hard time financially and just trying to figure out if I wanted to do my sh like my show, my prep, like if my heart was still in it because different circumstances are now in my life as far as like starting this prep that weren't that were in my life last prep that aren't in it this time. So unshakable to me means this is my passion. I love fitness. I want to do this as a career. I want to be a dietitian. Just means that no matter what's going to happen in my life, no matter if tough times are coming, no matter if amazing times are coming, like the roller coaster in life, I am unshakable in that I love this sport. I do love competing. I love seeing how my body changes. I love fitness. I love pushing myself. And I'm grounded. I'm unshakable in that. That will never, ever change. Circumstances around me will. Financial situations will change. But overall, my passion and love for fitness will not. So I just wanted to tie this unshakable that if you want something, go after it no matter what the odds are against you. Just stay founded and unshakable in it. So this is where I'm going to include the vlog. I'll do better at the gas station like hits and misses, but this is where I'm going to include it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Episode 2.